Hey guys, this is John, and I'm playing N Mario in the One Minute Pool on ICC. First game of the session. This is going to be a quickie ICC session. I got to go in a little bit, but we're going to play for 20 or so minutes and see what happens. I'm playing a Fianchetto system against M Mario. Perhaps a bit dubious, but playable for Bullet. Lots of stuff is playable in Bullet, right? Here he can't play a6, which is nice. So structurally, I feel I have the edge. He's going to swing his knight to b6. Let's put this knight up here and then take this way. I think he's going to try to plant his knight on uh, that juicy d4 square. But looks like he'll wait for the moment. It's uh, a good idea by him. I'm going to take here. Kind of, whoa, what was that? He did not expect me to take on a8, apparently. <laughs> okay, let's do this. So we're going to be able to go up a full rook. And he is continuing to play. But, you know, maybe he has some play for the moment. I probably should have stopped h4, but whatever. Okay, let's do that now. I'm playing ultra defensive, but up a rook, just not taking any chances. Here I'm going to play rook b7, next move, and attack the f7 pawn, to which black does not have a defense because he can't go queen f4. Okay, so we benefited from a blunder by our opponent. Had black simply recaptured rook takes a8, then I like their position because rook takes a8, c takes b3, they have rook a3 coming in and attacking the pawn on b3 twice. And I can't defend it. Okay, so we win the first game. We're at 25-51. I had a lecture in Minneapolis last night at the Chess Castle of Minnesota. That's our main club. In fact, I think our only active club in the Twin Cities. It's been around for quite a while. It's the, the place to play chess in Minnesota. I know I have a lot of Minnesotan viewers. And those of you in the Midwest, or if you think you're going to visit Minnesota in the, the future, definitely check out the club. We've got a growing uh, scene, especially scholastic scene. We've got a lot of young players. In my lecture last night, there were about 20 people who showed up. And we had someone as old as 82 and someone as young as 7. So like a 75-year age spread, which is one of the things I really like about chess, that you see that. I don't know what other competitive discipline you see that sort of age gap, but pretty cool. The topic of my lecture was typical themes and mistakes that you see under 2000. And almost everyone there was under 2000 rated. So lots of class players. Okay, Zappy, let's play a Sicilian. Let's see what he throws at us. Is he going to go d4 or not? Apparently no. Uh, okay, I'll play d6. Got to be a little careful in this setup that you don't play knight f6 too quickly. I think that's one way you can go astray. Let's do this. e6 is now weak, but... Hopefully I can cover it. Uh, queen g4 is a problem. Queen g4 would not allow me to cover it. Fortunately, he did that, which looks less accurate, because now he's not hitting g7. So maybe I can survive this. Let's go here. And, hmm. I think I'm going to play... Let's play b4 first, and then go e5. So let's do that. He's going to sink the knight in. I'm going to try to put this knight on f6 now. And attack that pawn on d5. Can I take it? I'm greedy, so I will. Let's take back with the knight, should he recapture. Otherwise, there might be some issues with knight b6 at the very end of the line. Uh-huh. Let's castle this way. This looks a little crazy, but I think it's fine. I say a little crazy because we have weakened our king by advancing some of these pawns. Check, and now we pick up the rook on a1, importantly. Ah, but he attacks this. Very clever. Very clever. Uh... Okay, I guess I go here. I've got to watch myself as far as my uh, king goes, and also my time. I'm okay with a recapture if he wants to do that. Check. Another fork on the... <laughs> two rook forks in the same game. It's kind of nice. You can play knight c5, but it shouldn't do anything. Just go here. Oh, boy. Drop my queen. <laughs> he played right into that. And I didn't even see it. I have two rooks still, but yikes. I wish I would have seen that. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's do this. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> he did the Hail Mary Queen F3. Was this queen totally hanging there? Yeah. That's not a bad strategy when you're completely losing at a position. Just putting your queen on pre... And hoping that your opponent doesn't notice it so you can go take their queen. 
I give him credit for that. That was sneaky. I just automatically... I assumed he was going to play queen e4 check. So I was thinking about where to move my king. But yeah, queen f3. And the only thing that saved me was the fact that he had less time than I did. Okay, we'll take it. Back in the pool. That was funny how we got two forks. First one here, queen d4 check. Fork the king on g1, rook on a1. And then later, queen d5. <laughs> Another fork. King on g2, rook on f7. Technically, he could have played queen f3 here, but he doesn't want to trade queens when he's down this much. I don't think he had a mate or anything at the end. Okay, Slogger is next. This is Priyadarshan Kanapin. Good player. Let's go knight a3. Usually they play a6 in response to this. They have some experience in this line. Uh, let's take this way, actually, and try to win this pawn later. He might have to go down a pawn. Can you do that, really? Okay, I'm going to take. I'll see what you got here. Seems like an odd move. Oh. <laughs> okay, that was his plan all along. <laughs> okay, well, we're not having a great start to the session, but it's a start nonetheless. Yeah, missing stuff. Here he can play knight g8, interestingly. Well, at least I get to keep his king in the center for the time being. Maybe I can give him some issues. Yeah, now he can't castle. He has a difficult time castling. Mm. Kind of want to go f3 and g4, so I'm going to try to do that. Kick that knight out. Let's go back here. Don't really want to trade queens. So let's try to find a way to play the capture on uh, f5 somehow. But he's putting up a pretty sturdy defense here. Like queen back to e6 is good, I'm sure, at this stage. I can play queen e4 if I do that. Okay. Yeah. I can play queen takes f3. Okay, I'm going to resign this one. So just missed that the knight on b4 was hanging. Not sure why I missed that. Loose pieces drop off. Isn't that what I'm always telling you guys? <laughs> yeah. I assumed he was going to, like, fork my knight somehow after this. Play a queen move or something that doesn't exist. That would fork both of the knights. But no, just bishop takes b4. Okay. Weird oversight on my part. Hmm. So, if I had played knight to c2, I'd be threatening knight takes e5. He can defend the pawn with d6, but somehow I feel a quick e3 to open up the position should be in white's favor. Maybe not, I don't know. Knight c2, d6, e3. Black could even play d3 there, because if queen takes d3, there's e4 forking the queen in the knight. So, that's not as good as I would like. Okay, M. Mario again. Let's play a modern. Against Mr. Mario. Okay, so we get this line. Knight d7, knight gf6. This is a little passive for black, but not too bad. Does that work? I don't think that works for him. He's going to go check, but so long as I don't completely blunder here, don't think this should be that great for him. So now let's offer to trade knights, try to kick him out. So he swaps. So he has, what, one pawn for the piece? Shouldn't be enough. My knight can come to e6. Let's do this. So attack that bishop. I don't think he really wants to trade it. So yeah, he backs off. Let's kick this out. I'm going to go g5 next, moves, next move. Let's play bishop here. Attack the knight. This is looking good. Maybe put the queen on d5. Yeah, create a battery. Queen and bishop. I think I can take here. Hit the rook. Now threaten mate on g2. Let's bring this up. Play bishop f5. Queen takes f3. And this position is collapsing. King h1, I have bishop e4. And this will be mate. Okay, so this is a system I play from time to time. And I think white's better in this line, no doubt. They have a space advantage. I'm not sure that the Fianchetto of the dark square bishop and black having issues with the light square bishop bodes well for my position because it's hard to develop the bishop to, say, g4 without h3 ever forcing you to trade on f3 because bishop h5, g4. So I don't know about this system, but I do play it in blitz and bullet from time to time. Okay, so we win that game. 
sometimes this bishop takes f7 sacrifice does work. But for it to work out, I think black must not have king g8, at least in that position. Okay, Eli is the next opponent. Let's see what he's got. He's playing b3. And maybe we'll get some sort of Sicilian reverse structure. He's looking to attack me. I'm just going to pull my knight back to g8. And let's play h5. Put a stop to any kingside aspirations he has. Let's go here. Maybe try to attack this guy. Mm, I'm going to play queen g5, attack this bishop. If queen f3, there's knight h4, which is kind of nice. So he does have to be careful. Okay, let's go here. If he takes on g6, I can take h1, and he's going to lose this knight. So he does have to be careful about that. Then again, I have to be careful about stuff too. So can we win this pawn next? That's the key question, I think. Well, we'll try. We'll just take this now. So we are going up a pawn. Let's look to trade this guy. See where that takes us. He's going to play his rook over to g1. Knight does that instead. Okay, well, let's do this. Just make it harder for him to regain the material. Um, I'm going to try to keep my bishop for the time being, but that might be a risky proposition. I don't know. I don't know if I should have done that. <laughs> Find out if it's any good. Okay, here at least I can castle, but ooh, am I going to lose this bishop? I think time to sacrifice and see what happens. Let's take that guy. Oh, discovered attacks, double attacks. I should have seen that coming. Let's do this. It looks crazy, but it might just work. Check. Probably not working. Uh, check here. He's playing for the win, of course. I would too if I were him. Uh, let's do something with this. Mm -hmm. Ah, I lost on time, but position was totally lost too. <laughs> Okay, so knight takes d6 killed us, that double attack. Although, actually, to be fair, that move didn't kill us, but it felt like a big oversight on my part. Rook takes d2 was just a Hail Mary trying to create some confusion in the position, but queen takes b2, king d3, yeah, I wasn't really getting anything. King e2, I should have played queen b2 check here, forking the king and the rook again. That could have led to a repetition, maybe, but... As played bishop b4, I did not have enough in the tank to save this game. So back in the pool, I'm losing some rating points, but my rating was pretty high to begin with, so that's not unexpected. All right, Rupik, let's play e4 again. Let's play knight c3. I don't feel like going into mainline alakines at the moment. Okay, let's go here. Probably play bishop b5. I think this is a good way to combat this line. He's going to sacrifice some stuff. I'm going to take it, I suppose. Uh, let's stop any business of sacrificing on h2. I'm going to go here, see if we can open up the position. I'm just going to ignore that because I feel like taking would be pretty bad. Don't want that queen coming into h3. Okay, so let's do this. I do have to be a little careful now. I'm up material, but I need to get my pieces into the action Let's guard against queen takes c2. Let's play f3 here. I know he can check, but I'm just going to hide my king. If he does, let's do this. I always have bishop e3, which is nice. Okay, we'll take that, of course. Yeah, and this is winning. Up a rook. Go take this guy. And take the queen. Okay, so... Black went for a pretty crazy attack, but it didn't work out. Sauerkraut is next. Okay, let's play... I guess I'm playing a close Sicilian. I meant to play d4 there, but it didn't work. <laughs> okay, let's just castle. So we're going to get some trades. Maybe I can go e5, quick e5, if allowed. We'll see if Sauerkraut lets me do that or not. He says no. Uh, okay, let's try to open a different front here. Not sure he really minds if I play b4, but let's go h4. We'll switch back to the other side of the board. h4, h5, maybe. Maybe this. I'm going to maneuver this knight now. Hmm. 
Intriguing. Okay, let's do this. Okay, I'm going to take and then play this move. Try to get the knight over to f2. I know he can play bishop d4 here, but maybe it's okay. We're going to try to evacuate some of our pieces. The f4 pawn is hanging, but not sure I have time to take it. Probably not. Let's go king e2, get our king to safety. I want to try to trade and get at his king, really. Rook f6 seems sensible. Will he spot it? Here, can I take... I can take... I'm going to try this. I'm not sure it's working, but we'll give it a shot. Uh, let's take here now. This doesn't work at all. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Does not work in the slightest. Mm, okay. Go knight g4 next, I guess. Knight h6. He's, of course, taking over the position now, but will he have time? Oh, lost. Okay, so bishop takes e5. Did not go as I would have liked. <laughs> I guess I should have recaptured on g1, but I'm not sure that that setup was any good to begin with. Okay, so we're playing Slogger again. Slogging our way through these games. Mm, let's play e6. This is a sharp line. If white had played g4, but he did not. Okay, uh, let's play h5. I think knight g4 was a better idea instead of knight d7, by the way. I played this line before, so I should know that. Okay, let's take... I'm going to go here. Look for a swap, and then play b5. If I can, just cramp him a bit. I like my position already here. Let's go c5. Bring this over. Maybe g5 after that, too. Let's try it. Just trying to break up his structure. Okay, let's do this. I know he might get the d4 square for his knight eventually. I'm not sure I should have allowed this, but I'm going to play for an attack like rook g1 now. And he has to go to f1, I think. Ah, but he's getting mated. Bishop h3. Uh, yeah, knight g3 I think was the only move that didn't get mated. But now he's just straight up losing the knight. Okay, so when in doubt, when you're having a couple bad games, go to the Scandi. Uh, let's play e4 against Slogger. I'm trying to incorporate more e4 games into my repertoire, even though I don't quite know what I'm doing a lot of times, but it's fun. Let's pull the bishop back. Let's go knight bd2. We're just going to play this like a Roy Lopez and maneuver. We'll let him take on c3 if he wants. Let's play bishop d2, just so c4 in the future may be bothersome. Uh, I would like to play knight h4, but I'm, I don't think it's working for the moment, so let's do this maneuver. Mm, queen h4, I'm allowing queen h4. Okay, so let's pull this knight back. Maybe try to go to d5 with this piece. Let's go f3 now. I think bishop b3 makes sense. Now we'll put this in. He's got to watch knight f6. Do I have this? I'm going to try it. Eh, you can take d5. Not sure I should have gone for this, but what can you do? Okay, yeah, now I'm in trouble. Now I'm in big trouble. It's my weak dark squares. Got to run with the king. I'm somewhat fortunate I'm not getting mated here, but it's not good. Going to play g3 next, of course. Try to dispute him on the file. Just a statically better position for black, however. Mm, okay, I guess I'll take. He's going to get his rook into the second rank. Take, take, rook h2. I guess we'll put the bishop on c4 and try something.
I'm going to try to go around and take the d6 pawn. Okay. I just noticed he had very little time there, so and he was pre-moving. So try to go around win the d6 pawn. Otherwise, he could have clicked draw and it would have been a draw by repetition. It might have been a draw by repetition, but neither of us clicked it. Probably was, right? One. Yeah, definitely three times, I think. Okay, I'm going to play a few more games and then call it quits for this session. ICC always has the best competition, particularly for Blitz and Bullet. Standard games are not popular on this server, which is generally true for internet chess. You just don't see many people playing games longer than five minutes. But ICC perennially has had the toughest players, lots of GMs, IMs in the mix constantly. So this is the server I like to play on when I really want to test myself. Which is kind of remarkable because ICC has remained unchanged for the past 10, 15 years. They hardly ever introduce new improvements to the site, but it's not a bad site. It serves its purpose, and I think people just like the consistent competition, especially the higher rated players. Okay, what is going on here already? White's playing some suspicious opening. I'm not sure H4 is going to fit into their plans too well, but <laughs> we'll see if we can imp uh, prove it. Okay, he takes. I'm going to take this way, get the bishop pair. Let's just develop. All right, so if you attack me there, I'm going to attack you on this wing. That seems like a fair deal. Uh, take. Nah, let's just pull this back. Okay, I think I can take here. He does not want the piece. Did not take on f6. That's odd. Okay, he's just going to sack the house, I suppose. Let's go after the g5 pawn. That pawn looks awfully tasty. We'll go take that. Threatening rook g1. d5 is also covered. Let's play... Let's just take this. And then we're going to go after the knight. e5. Uh, I guess I'll play it. He can take here, though. Uh, but in the interest of simplifying, i got to watch my time. I'm way down on time right now. I think he has to trade at this moment. And then I'm hoping to get at f3 once he does. Because I am threatening to take here. If he plays e4, what is up with that? Okay. Take the free queen. Check. And basically just win the game. Let's give a check here just to see where his king goes. Okay. Well, my opponent decided to go nuts, <laughs> throwing the H and the G pawns down the board. And then after I took on C3, I was expecting G takes F6. I was going to play C takes B2 there, but he surprised me by just recapturing. But then, yeah, he's down a minor piece. We'll play two more games. I wonder what the best list is looking like lately. Let's go check that out. Danya, Daniel Naroditsky is the top guy. Bazoo, Karanke, yeah, both those guys are strong. Blitz Maniac, also a strong player. National Master FM, I think. Lots of GMs at the top. Hmm, I'm actually on the best list with a lowish 2,500 rating. Tu Huang, our buddy Tu Huang is on the list. Sergic, very strong. Sergei Zhigalko, Conrad Holt. Many familiar names. I have a bad record against Sauerkraut. I got to improve against this guy. He just has my number lately. He looks to be in control here. I would take white in this position. Knight a6 maybe. Trying to attack this rook. If rook c8, rook b7 is an idea. Okay, now Slogger has won some stuff. Slogger, by the way, is very tricky. This guy's, I think, near GM strength. Very, very tricky opponent. Here he's going down, though, unless he wins on time, which he very well might. This is going to be a close one. We're not going to see the end. C buys. Okay, let's continue with our E4 trend against buys. Okay, I'm going to play a line that I played... Uh, somewhat recently in a game. He just retreats. Okay. Let's do this. We'll go bishop g5. This is pretty solid for both sides, really. 
I might try to prop this knight up on e5. Let's do that. It looks kind of fun. And then we'll go f4. We'll try to gain all of the space in the position. I'm going to double on the e-file as well. It's going to be our plan. Whoops, did not mean to go there. That was a slip. So he's methodically trading while we do this. I think I got to take here now. He's probably going to trade again. Yep. Okay, so let's do this. That rook d1 move kind of cost me, didn't it? Not liking that concession I had to made, make. Uh, okay, so let's try to win this end game. It's going to be difficult, but we'll try. Okay, I'm going to do this, I guess. Hmm, okay, he's going to advance. Don't think I can trade, so I'm not going to do that. Let's go here. Bring our king up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to take this way. So now we always have the possibility of creating the outside pass pawn, which he has to be concerned about. I'm going to go king b4 if allowed. Okay. Let's take this way. Unfortunately, I think this position is a draw. Still try something, but I'm going to try to get around the back. Yeah, let's do this. Go after this pawn. Position our bishop here. He's going to try to bring his king around. Okay, now we're winning again, I believe. Okay, and we win the game. Mostly due to time, though. That bishop ending should be a draw if played correctly. All right, and last game. This is an approach black can use. So upon knight c3, instead of knight takes c3, whereupon I would have played d takes c3, he plays the knight back to f6. Because black's argument is that the knight on c3 is not particularly well placed. It blocks the c-pawn. So I can't like put the pawn up on c4 or play it to c3 if I want to go bishop d3, queen c2, some setup like that. So not a bad option. I mean, I feel white should be slightly better here, but I don't know how to prove it. Maybe I should have propped my knight up one move sooner. Perhaps right here is a better time to do it. Knight e5, preventing bishop g4, just preempting that bishop move. As played, I was able to advance my pawns, but that's double edge because my king is weak as well, so uh, I have to be careful about issues surrounding my king's safety in the future. Yeah, and of course, rook d1 makes no sense here. I want to go to the e-file, not the d-file. d soul will be the last opponent. I'm going to play a French defense. Why not? Let's just mix it up. Diesel is playing the King's Indian attack. He's playing very fast, too. Let's go a5 and try to go a4, kick this knight around a bit. He tries to stop us, but don't we win this pawn? I guess he wins that one, is his argument. But let's do this. We'll get our knights into some good squares. I'm okay with a queen swap, I think. Can play bishop takes f3 whenever I like, too. Uh, let's go here. Attacking the dark square bishop. Okay, I guess I'll take that. Going to attack this pawn. Let's bring our king up. I know we can get his knight in. But I'm not so concerned. I think the c pawn is perpetually weak, so... I still like my position. Let's gain some space on this wing. We're going to go here. I wonder if he's going to sack on b4. He might. Okay, let's continue expanding. I'm going to take that now. And then we're going to take this guy. So we went upon. A little awkward to keep everything defended, but nothing too bad. Let's bring the knight into f4. I uh, did not see that he could do that, unfortunately. Good idea by him. Yeah, now I'm losing the knight. Rook d1. Hopefully he can't mate us in time. Look for a swap here. Okay, let's check. And then we're going to go here. And he lost on time. 
Okay, so playing faster helped in this session, although I was down on time in some games. Let's tally up the results. So we started down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine wins and three losses. Not bad, although I did lose rating points overall because I had that pretty high 2550 rating. Okay, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoy your day as well. And I'll be back again soon with another video. Talk to you guys later. Bye.